somebody and say, I don't know how you feel, but I'm glad to be here. And I don't know what's been going on, or as Big Mama say, going on in your life, but it's all right in my life. I like what the songwriter said, I've had some good days. I've had some hills to climb. I've even had some weary days and sleepless nights. But all of my good days outweigh my bad days. And I shall not complain. I'm going to tell you right now, and this is not my message today, but if you want to get out of where you are, I dare you to praise God. And you don't feel like praising God all the time. If you feel like praising God all the time, just shoot me an email. Shoot me a text and I want to hear from you. But every now and then you don't feel like praising God. That's why the Bible said just give him a sacrifice of praise. Just open your mouth sometime and say, Lord, I don't feel like it right now, but I just want to tell you thank you. All praise is not hard, y'all, because all you got to do is just tell God thank you. Have he been good? I like what I like what the old church said. He's been better to me than I've been to myself. To continue our thought today, very quickly, I want you to run with me uh, to two passages, uh, Proverbs the 10th chapter and the 12th verse because our backdrop this month has been what's love got to do with it? Love is a verb. 
Love is active and not passive. Love is offensive and not defensive. Love is helpful and not hurtful. If you're in a relationship and the love hurt, you don't need to be there. Because love does well toward you. All right. And love does not hurt you. We'll see that in a moment. Proverbs 10, 12, and then over in 1 Corinthians chapter 13, the love chapter. All right. Proverbs 10, 12. When you find say amen, let's stand as we go to God's word together. You ought to have your notebook. You ought to have your pen and your highlighter because I want you to know what we're talking about. Amen. amen. Proverbs 10, 12, and then 1 Corinthians chapter 13. Proverbs, the 10th chapter, mm -hmm. and the 12th verse. Man. Hatred oh, stirring up strife, Man. but love mm -hmm. covereth all sin. sin. Amen. Mm -hmm. And if you flip over to 1 Corinthians chapter 13 uh -huh. and verse 1. I just lift that verse and we'll delve into the rest of that. But verse 1 simply says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels, right. and have not charity, All right. parenthetically love, uh -huh. I become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. Amen. Jump down to verse 13. It says, And now by the faith, hope, charity, these three, but the greatest of these is Love. love. Y'all may be seated. Amen. And that <coughs> our songbird that left us yesterday. Amen. And they sent her home yesterday. I believe Clive Davis found her singing this song. The title of my message today. The greatest love of all. And the sub thought would be, can we love on this love? Mm -hmm. Now this sermon ain't going to make a whole lot of folks shout because it's going to challenge you where you are. All right. Because a lot of folk talk about love. Right. But very few of us live about love. Amen. Amen. And I'm just going to say this and I will not say anything else about it and I, and I, I won't bring it up no more. But if as many people claim they love and sat with Whitney as they did, All right. she'll still be here. All right. All right. That's right. Hello, somebody. Amen. And the only thing I ask you today, do you love the folks in your life enough All right. that you help them in their time of need? All right. Amen. I'll say, I don't need you when I got a loaf of bread Come in the on, house. Right. Come on. Amen. 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 I don't need you when I can put gas in my car. All right. I don't need you when I can pay my own light bill. That's right. Right. So when I call you need some help, I don't, it, it ain't time to pray then. Right. Right. I need some help. Amen. And if you claim you love folks, and I'm here talking about the folks in your circle. All right. If you say you love as much as you say you do, when your friends call you in need, it ain't time to be scratching your head. All right. Wow. Amen. Amen. Hello? Hello? And don't tell me what you can't do. All right. Let me know what you can do. That's right. Love don't find excuses. Yes, Love finds help. All right. Oh, I wish I had somebody to walk with. Oh, thank you. Okay. Hello? Yeah. And I'm going to tell you something else. I've said this Wednesday night. If you treat folks right while they live, uh -huh. you can miss the funeral. All right. 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 I don't need you want to jump in the casket with me when I'm gone. Why do you ride or die with me while I leave? Come, come on, somebody. I don't need you cutting the food when I'm gone. Oh, Lord, take me! Quit lying. Quit lying. You ain't ready to go. Y'all y'all get quiet and ready if you want to. We talk about love. A lot of folks went broke on Valentine's Day. Well, trying to ease their conscience. But if you treat me right every day, you can skip Valentine's Day. 
Amen. Hello, Dr. Sam. You ain't got to go out at the ninth hour and buy me nothing. If you treat me right every day. Amen. And fellas, let me say something to y'all. Y'all ain't got to be jealous of your shorty. All right. Mad when somebody want to holler at a dog. That's my cousin. All right. You want to cut the food. Talking about who they're talking to you. All right. I'm y'all write this in your notebook. Write this in your notebook. If you keep your grass cut, you ain't got to worry about a man with a lawn for Amen. Amen, silly thing. Ladies, women are not like us. If a woman loves you, what's up? What did our Kelly say? When a woman loves, she loves for real. I may not be our Kelly, but I love to sing, lady. When a woman loves you, she loves you for real. But now our Kelly got another song. When a woman get fed up, you might as well pack your grill, get you a can of Vienna sausages, get you a handkerchief, and go on about your business. And I don't need about the street. What's up? They're going to tag this on YouTube, don't worry. But it bothers me all the talking we do. But when, when, when it's time to show up, we be showing out. I, I don't need you. Love, I don't need you when my sun shines. Come on, now. come on. I don't need you when 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 everything is well. We don't need you neither. I need you when I need some help. But I need somebody to help talk the load with me. That's when I need my friends. And it ain't time for you to judge how I got where I got. I don't need a sermon when I'm in trouble. I need some help. I was telling one of my friends the other day, if I got a flat tire on the surf, I don't need you just to drive by and roll the window down and say, dog, you got a flat tire. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, I know that. I need you to get out the car, roll your sleeves up, and help me change my tire. And we can talk about how it got flat when we had shown this. Tell your neighbor love is active. Look at that first verse. Hatred stirs up strife. A lot of us got haters in our lives. But can I tell y'all, don't be fighting your haters. Don't worry about your haters. Now the Bible that I read said, God will make your enemy. Racks on racks on racks. Tell your neighbor, hate me all you want. You just stacking up my blessing. You tell the hater, you stay around as long as you want to. So God said he'll make your enemy your footstool. Hatred stirs up strife. And I want to serve notice on you right now. If you ain't got nothing good to say, keep your mouth shut. Because a lot of us in here are instigators. Amen. You remember them little folks in high school? Sarah, can you remember them folks in high school? Never got in a fight, but they'll show stars. Hello? Have you ever had somebody you like to always want to start some? Child, child, did you hear? Child, guess what I done heard? Call exactly the same bone you told to me about somebody else. You told the bone about me to that same person you just took a bone from on your cell phone. Tell your neighbor, I don't want to hear none of that. The greatest love of all, hatred stirs up strife. But guess what? What does love do? Love comes. Not some, all sin. And let me tell y'all in relationship, neither one of us, neither one of y'all are perfect. Amen. 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 We always want to want to put somebody out. But you ought to love beyond where they are. 
Right. Let me roll it back to you. Let me roll it back. That's why you got to be careful who you give your heart to. A lot of folks not with their soul made. A lot of folks are not with their first love, okay? But since you going to live and love, you got to forgive. Come on, somebody. Y'all mighty quiet. Where the perfect folks? Throw your hand up if you perfect. You perfect? Throw your hand up. Okay. That's what I thought. Okay. None of us are perfect. That's why you all to love like God. Let me hear y'all say love like God. Love like God. Can we love on this level? A lot of folks say, Rev, that's tough, Rev. Right. We don't love like God. We give each other one chance to mess up. That's right. And once that chance gone, you got to go. Right. But what if God loved us like that? Right. Did you pray last night? Right. <laughs> Somebody cut you off at Walmart on the circle, you cut. Right. <laughs> Amen. Okay, I know I'm on somebody home right now. They're like, what the heck? I know I'm on somebody home right now. Anybody hold enough to throw their hands up and say, you cussed this week? Anybody hold enough to throw their hands up? Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lord. I appreciate y'all. I love real folks. Anybody had a bad thought this week? Anybody want to slap somebody this week? Get the baby pie and just wait. Hey, wait. I'm so glad God don't treat us like that. With all that junk y'all got in y'all trunk, how can you hold an off against anybody? Tell your neighbor, I got to love you. I got to love you. Well, Dr. Sims, how do I love on this level? Well, we need to understand love. First of all, we got to understand that God is love. You cannot love right unless you have God right. If God is not positioned right in your life, you cannot love right. The only way you can love right, you have to have God positioned right in your life. John 3.16 simply says, for God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Amen. John 3 said, You have to be, got to be born again. You have to understand if you have the love of God in your heart, you can't have an all against anybody. You can't hate anybody. And some folks, some folks got fake love. Amen. 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 Some folks have fake love. Amen. It ain't real. That's right. If you got real love, you can look beyond where a person is Amen. and love them like God say love. Amen. Hello? Yes. That's where that, that saying come from. I can love a person yes, and hate their ways. Because right. love covers them up. Yes, love. A lot of folks talk about love. Well, mm -hmm. But God wants us to be about love. Yeah. And see, a lot of folks in the church are faking this time. Yes. Right. Hey, amen, Dr. C. Amen. Amen. A lot of folks in the church, you, 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 you talk the right kind of talk, uh -huh. but your actions don't back it up. Yes. Everybody in here, we ought to love one another yes. because we are of the household of faith. Amen. Uh, when, it start, when we start talking like this, we don't like this kind of talk. Yes. But we can't preach hate. We can't preach discord and we cannot preach confusion. We got to preach love and peace like God said. You can speak with all kind of tongues. You can tell the church up when you shout. You can rearrange the furniture in the church. But if you don't love like God say love, you might as well sit down somewhere. Tell your baby you got to love for real. And folks know when it's real. When love is real, I'm going to tell you how you can tell when love is real. Love, number one, is patient. Love is patient. Y'all mighty quiet. Every woman in here that's ever been pregnant had a child, you ought to have the most patience in the world. Because it took nine months to have that child. Where my mama's at? 
right. Y'all know y'all got a lot of patience. Cause folks get on your nerve, but you can sit right there. Hello? Patient love is patient. Cause why does love have to be patient? Cause everybody is not on the same level. Amen. Is that right? Everybody not on the same level. Love is patient. I'm working. I'm working on my next book. The Extraordinary Man. The journey becoming the man God wants you to be. Y'all write this quote down. Becoming a male right. takes nine months, right. but becoming a man takes a lifetime. All right. Amen. That's all right. Hello? Yeah. Behind every good man, mm -hmm. there stands two women. All right. His mama and his, uh -huh. and his wife. Yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. A good man, a real man, extraordinary man, love his mama yes, and love his wife. Amen. Amen, silly thing. Amen. And a real woman understand that. That's right. Come on, somebody. There you go. Number one, love is patient. I wish I had time to deal with this. I got five minutes. Write this down. Love, love. is patient. Yeah. Quit being impatient with folks. Yeah. Everybody not where you are or where you think you are. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Ram. All right. Y'all come on the Bible says we'll break it down a little bit more. All right. All right. Love is patient. Yeah. Tell you that calm down. Ooh. I feel so good. I'm in my flow right now. I feel good. I'm glad it's being recorded and on video. All right. We're too impatient. Amen. It was no excuse Amen. for them giving Bobby Brown to run around like they did yesterday. No excuse. All right. That's right. I don't care what you think or what you heard. That's right. All right. He's still a part of that family. Yeah, right. And there are folks in your family you can't stand. But they still your family. Yeah. Hello? Amen. That's why don't low rate each other to your family. Right. When y'all work that thing out and you go to the family unit, they're going to be looking at that person like, mm -hmm. that's right. That's right. You ain't nothing but a dog. Well, he, they may be a dog, but they my dog. All right. All right. Hello? Amen. Don't talk about your family. To, don't talk about each other. Amen. Y'all right. mighty quiet already. Right. Yeah. If I'm wrong, I'm going to sit down and right. be quiet till right. next Sunday. Right. Right. But love is patient. Right. Everybody, everybody ain't where they need to be. That's right. And they don't give you a right to act any kind of way. Right. Well, they, they should know better. Well, you should know better too. Amen. Right. That's right. Number one, write this down. Love is patient. Uh-oh. Come on. Get a net. The greater love of all. The okay. greater love of all, number one, is patience. Right. Number two, love is right. kind. What you say? Folks in the church ought to be sweet. Sure right. yeah. 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 You ought to be yeah. so yeah. sweet it'll put you in a diabetic coma. All right. <laughs> <laughs> that, <laughs> that's some good love, ain't it? Yeah. Your love ought to be so sweet yeah. it ought to just make folks get mad you come around. They get yeah. so sweet. <laughs> Fellas, now ladies, I'm going to tell you a secret. We won't ever tell you this. But when you're sweet to us, you can get what you want. You'll make it rain in a minute. You sweet to us? Hello? Yeah, y'all ladies laughing. Y'all make it hot. David, am I right? Y'all making it hard. You sweet to us, and you will. There was there was this lady, and, and brother and sister Thomas told me about this. They were listening at a woman talk on the radio, and she said she learned something from her five year old daughter. All right, all right. Everywhere the dad went, that baby was right there. Amen. He'll be working on the car. She was right there. Amen. Daddy, you need. Whatever he needed, she got it. All right, all right. When he'll sit on the couch, she'll snuggle up with it. Yes, sir. Right. And say, Daddy, you are awesome. Right. And anything that baby needs, one day she said, Daddy, right. there's this dog down at Walmart that I want. The next day, it was on the couch waiting on her. All right, all right, all right. Amen. Amen. Y'all ladies make it hard. If y'all are kind to us, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. sisters, you need to understand. Quit barking at your man. Quit dogging your man. Quit talking to him like a child. You treat him like a king, and he'll treat you like a queen. Hey, hey, 
say just because there's a physical attraction don't mean there's a spiritual connection. I'm going to tell you, but if God put y'all together, I know you want to give up some time, but hang on in there. Because the Bible says when you was a child, when you get mad, you want to get your ball and run home. But when you grow in God, when you become a man, you put away childish things. I may want to cuss and fuss, but as a man of God, I can stand there and keep my peace because I know God has got to do his thing. That's why the Bible said, now about faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these three is love. Because love went to Calvary one day. Love was nailed to a cross one day. What kept Jesus on the cross? It was not the weight of our sin, but the weight of love that kept him on the cross. That's why he looked up and said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they do. He hung his head in the locks of his shoulder. He died, y'all, but I got news for y'all. Early that Sunday morning, he got up with all power in his hand. And tell your neighbor, I got power to love you, because Jesus is on the inside. Amen. Tell your neighbor, I can't hate you. In the world, because Jesus is on the inside. That's my challenge to you today. Get to know God better, and you can love.